down the pie. pie. You will never know. You ain't never try. Work it out. Hit the gym. Hit the field. Hey, 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 yo, I need that. Big chips, man. I need that. Hustle hard on the job. You can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes. Chase the uh-huh. rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes. Chase the rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes. Chase the rings. Yeah. Leave it in the streets. Chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes. Chase W's. Great colored coops. Uno, no, I can't be number two. MVP the least most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. So Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, I move like the wind. Can't catch me this breeze. Freeze. 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 Freeze
zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, 78 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. We'll go ahead and strap in, partner. We, less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? Let's field it a few yards into the... Yeah, and a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is. A, and a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. From midfield, here's Breeze. Flushed out right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Right After the incompletion, right here now, third and two. Hey, easy. Be ready, be ready. Breeze on the draw, gives to Kamara. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Now here's Morstead now, as he sends this one away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. On second and 12, Prescott. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On third down, Elliott. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. They'll run it with Elliott. And the surge is going to be too much defensively. He's hit and taken down to the backfield. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Three buzz, three buzz. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And some space here. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Saints have taken the lead. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talk about low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through them for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognized That's it. a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take them all to dinner. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Oida Waller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. This is Elliott. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's Prescott. Polluting the pressure right. He may try and run for this. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Now Prescott on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there. And the Saints will have the football back. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Joker, 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 Joker. Watch out, watch out. Hey, break it down, fellas, break it down. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. You kill! Breeze now on first down. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. Jared Cook, 40 yards. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And that there, that was just a fly route. There was no stop. He just went. Yeah, and it was beautiful to watch because... You have to set it up as you go along. Everyone knows he's fast, so you play him for that. That's the number one thing you want to take away. But as you go through a game, sometimes you vary the speed in which you come off the line of scrimmage and maybe start a little bit slower. 
get him to stop his feet a little bit as a defensive back, and then explode and go, as we saw there. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Well, earlier this half, you were wondering how they were going to defend him. I think you used the term bottle him up, and they've struggled to do that. They certainly have because when you see them approach, you know, to bottle him up at different levels, that the front line's got to take care of business. Otherwise, he starts to sit through. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Fans, a reminder. I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime previews. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Goddard, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run, and they're still accurate during the football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Draw play. And running scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome, you'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. From the 44, Breeze looking long for Thomas. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try to get some more points. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. They keep on the ground with Elliott. He's got a first down past the 30, and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run it with Ola Wallet. 
Demario Davis there on the stop. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the 39, Prescott. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. A hat tip to P.J. Williams there defensively, making sure that one didn't find its target. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Final play of the half. Prescott being chased out left. He's got his targets come. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Jeff Heath, the strong safety, able to get in there on the coverage. And now offensively, it's third and 10, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well? Well, that I can go to right now. Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Again, has it complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Mike, 53. 53, Mike, Mike. From the 36, Breeze. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Demarcus Lawrence, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three-score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Let's go, let's go. On third and long, it's Breeze. gonna go down again to me the defense was looking a little gassed near the end of the first half but they've come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step wonder what they did at halftime to get them so motivated i don't know but that sack looked good now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play and the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline and no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds so they'll start just outside of their own 30 yard line About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned 
because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after him early and try and create a big play to get nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They just get the playoff. Now Prescott. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Cameron Jordan picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Prescott. He'll buy some time right. And this is going to be incomplete. Are we on the same page here, partner? Because I think they have the right idea. Just take what you can get on third and forever. Yeah, in real life, I'd say yes. It's just these video games are tempting. You want to go downfield with it. I like the way you've evolved. Yeah. You know, you've learned how to play it the Madden way. And the punt team on now as this one's set away. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And the Saints will take over with a first down and ten. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Camara. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Now Breeze on third down. Well, this is caught by Gale. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll run with Elliott. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just go. shy of the 20. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. They go back to Elliott. He's been to get this one down inside the 15. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Yeah, he's got it. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown as his guys are back within a single score. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Forbat to send it away now following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Again, it's Camaro. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. It's third down and four. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And he finds Cook. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Five nine. 53. Hey, I seven. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football, keep the clock grinding, keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it and he will. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. They run it again with Kamara. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Well, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Kamara trying to run for it, and he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. 
A pass down the middle is fought for and hauled in. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 16. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Breeze is looking to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.